everyone and welcome back to my YouTube. My name is Michelle and we are here today to talk about CMOS. Um, I know y'all seen my little cheesy commercial and that's just kind of to get you excited about this week because we have a lot of important things to cover. So CMOS is basically just an algae that grows on the side of rocks on the Atlantic coast of the ocean. Hold up. Wait a minute, let me put some pimping in it because the way she just said that it was like, oh yeah, well, it grows on the side of the Atlantic Ocean and that's it. Um, no, um, there's still a lot that we should cover with sea moss, such as people have been using this for thousands of years. But thanks to Dr. Sabi and those alkaline people that advocate so well for healthy eating, we now know about sea moss. So again, it has 92 minerals that it needs for the body to be able to produce properly. Um, it helps with inflammation, helps with muscle recovery. We're talking a better immune system. We're talking a better overall health. So I just wanted to interject with your girl cause she over here tripping and tell it like it is. Back to your schedule program. Um, looks like this. Um, smells like the ocean or like sea. Um, when you, what you want to do is if you decide to use it in that form, then you would soak it in spring water for about 24 hours and it will swell. It'll kind of look like, um, spaghetti. That's what I call it. And it'll still have that smell and it'll even have some liquid from the spring water that you soaked it in. And I like to do is before I even soak it all that time, I do like to rinse it off because you'll see what I call is boo-boo or just particles and again, that smell. So I like to rinse it off really good. And even after I soak it, I like to rinse it off another time because that's when I can really get to see the boo-boo real good or just those salt particles and that smell, that fishy smell. And so once you clean it off and you have it ready to go, you can put it in a blender and put some more spring water in it and it should turn into a gel. Now, you want to make sure that you have the right sea moss because, of course, like anybody else, there's people out here scamming, people out here selling you whatever. And how you can tell is it's just, because I've had some bad sea moss, believe it or not. And how you can tell is, again, it's a gel form. It's not plastic, which happened to me. Um, and it's not glue-like, uh, which that's how I felt like it was. Um, and you can add it to smoothies. You can add it to tea. I like to add it to tea just so I can still get that flavor. I don't want that taste in a smoothie because in a smoothie, I'm looking for sweet. I'm looking for a different flavor. And in tea, I feel like I know how to kind of manipulate the flavor. I can put in um, different fresh squeezed juice that I use. I can put in other juice that I might use that's not concentrated. I can put in um, some clove. I can put in just different flavors for me to be able to uh, except the flavor and also like I said if I'm putting tea I always use a soursop tea and that's another good um, herb for cancer fighting uh, antioxidants and so uh, with that marrying together it's just a good combination for me that I like um, also I just love that sea moss can help with um, things like your mood your sexual health um my little commercial was funny because i was talking about sex i'm gonna be honest because um cmos helps with the libido it helps with testosterone and i believe me you'll be all up on your bay when you finish having you a cup of cmos um also uh, cmos helps with skin again i don't have on any makeup and my skin looks good um, CMOS helps with, um, like I said, hormonal balance. It helps with energy and weight loss. Um, when I first began on this journey to a plant-based journey, I started in 2017 and I went ahead of myself. I got all these herbs and I didn't want to take them because they were nasty. <laughs> and even the CMOS was nasty, but I was able to um, get it in a pill form, and that's another way that you can take it. And maybe a year later, that's when CMOS was like more known. And I was like, I'm passing up this CMOS I got hanging out in the counter, and I'm not doing anything with it. So I went back to trying it, and that was the thing that helped kind of curb the appetite. If I get a cup of tea and I put like a tablespoon of CMOS in it, I'm not hungry for a couple hours. And so that's that meal that I'm speaking of when I'm talking about um, 
kind of going into after a fast or after you wake up just so you're not putting anything heavy on your stomach and it's also helping with the digestion so that you can process your food properly and send it through like you need to and it also just helps with those those um, bloating feeling when you're on your cycle and so that's what I love a, a lot about CMOS and so those are just some different things that you can try um, also when you're thinking about you know transitioning just know that that's like the first thing that you should think about going to because people like to put you on dandelion teas and burdock roots and bladder whack and that's great because a lot of times bladder whack does come with sea moss in the pills and that's actually adding to those 92 minerals that sea moss provides um, to help bring you up a little more and get you to where you need to be so it's actually a plus but i just wanted to let you know that sea moss is the thing that kind of it's the first thing that you're like, okay, I can get excited about that. I can feel good about that. And that way it'll kind of motivate you into going into the next level and deciding what you want to do. Now, I'm not a, I'm not a person who says, oh, you shouldn't eat meat. You shouldn't do this. I say do what your body wants you to do. Um, unfortunately, I was diagnosed with stage four endometriosis um, later into my 20s and I was having problems digesting things. I was I was having problems eating. I was having problems accepting the food. And the thing that I feel like helped me to be able to accept it is the sea moss. Now I haven't tried to go back to these meats and these different things, but I can tell you that prior to that, I was having problems um, with gas and you know things like with cheese and milk so i had already pushed that to the side before i decided to go on this journey so that's not something that i'm gonna say that i'm gonna go back to but you know i just wanted to let you know that this is something that we can all go to and just kind of feel like it's light on your stomach it's light in your system and you don't have to worry about something just you know kind of clogging you up also I want to let you know that I normally do maybe a three-day fast here or there just to kind of clear things up. And when I use the sea moss, I will take sea moss and I'll use it in my tea and I'll also drink water. And that sea moss helps as a meal replacement. But what it's also doing is it's, it's kind of like a diuretic because it's processing whatever you already ate from the previous days and it's pulling out the mucus in your body and I'm not sure if everybody knows about mucus because most of the time you think of mucus coming out your nose or when you're sick coming out your mouth but also mucus is coming out your system as well um, and that helps because a lot of what I've been always educated in is that mucus is a buildup in your body from anything that you might be going through and just to get that mucus out of your system, it helps so much. It helps with just the problem areas. In my case, I have endometriosis and I can see it coming out and it helps so that I don't have super heavy cycles. It helps to where those cramps aren't super terrible. I actually did an experiment, guys. I had a cycle about a week ago. And normally when I have a cycle, I can tell that it's coming a week before. I'm already trying to prepare myself, get the right uh, products I need to get me through the week because I already prepped up. I already know I'm going to be down. But this time, I didn't even know. My cycle had already came. I didn't even know that it was there. Um, I'm not going to lie. My first one and two days are hell. And it still was not that great. But it wasn't like I was in a ball this time. I was actually all right. And then after days one and two, I kind of just had an easy week and it's because I've been drinking my CMOS every day and I also take an iron pill and I'll get into that as well in a, on a later video because I just wanted to focus mostly on the CMOS and I made sure that I also took the CMOS pills. I, I kind of double up on everything with the CMOS and take two pills and I also drink it in my tea in the morning and I just noticed the difference and the funny thing is if I would have been recording this video and I hadn't done all this, my face would be completely broke out. Then you would see breakouts everywhere and you just don't see that. And that's just because of the regimen that I've been doing. And I, I mean, I get compliments all the time on the way my face looks, the way, you know, I've changed. And I'm proud to say that that was a big, big thing in my life that I incorporated that helped. 
So I just wanted to just let you guys know that this is actually something good for you as well. And, um, you know, when you first try it, you're, you're not going to like it. I'm just being honest. But you could add things to make it taste okay. Um, some people tell you to put lime in it. Some people tell you to put clove in it. Um, something that you need to try might be just something that you normally put in things. Like I said, to get my husband to take it. Um, I did um, some fresh squeezed orange juice with some fresh squeezed apple juice at the bottom of his cup. And I put a little um, agave so I could mix up the sea moss and make it kind of like a, a syrup. It wasn't a lot. And um, he actually enjoys it now. So hopefully I can keep him on the right track. Um, he'll drink it if we're being that we're in the COVID. And he'll say, oh, something's wrong with my throat. Can I have some of your tea? And that's how he'll drink it. But um, he doesn't know that it's actually really good for you in those other aspects. He tries it if he feels like something's wrong with him but he's not a big tea guy and he's not really into it going to his smoothies but I guarantee you I'm wearing him down um but just for the people who are I'm sending this video out to for those people if you're suffering with endometriosis or you're suffering with something I just recommend that product just because it's it works wonders um if you're working out if you're exercising you can come back and drink some of the sea moss or take the pill form and you'll notice that you didn't need that afternoon snack so easily or whenever you work out you don't need that snack so easily you take that and then maybe you can get your shower in and whatever you need to do and then have something to eat and i just want to tell you that it's great for that and those are great benefits and those are things that you can incorporate in your life and you will feel great you'll feel good about yourself and you'll decide to try other things that help settle the stomach and other things that kind of help with um, pain and treatment that you need because it, we're in a day and time where they put everything in your food. They put um, sugars, different type of fillers in your food and you don't know what it is and you can't figure it out. And believe it or not, your body doesn't know it either. Your body is like, okay, what do I do with this? Um, God put food on this earth that was naturally here and your body already knows that it needs to come in and come out but the difference is is when we have all these different other things in our bodies it's storing in places that are not normal because it doesn't know what to do with them so you do need things like detoxing and juicing and and doing your smoothies and things like that to be able to come out of your body and and all other things like um if you want to different diets like paleo or uh, pescatarian, um, the paleo um, is a little funky to me because I'm not an advocate of extra meats and extra things like that. But, but again, to each his own because the thing that you are taking yourself away from is all the sugars and all the breads and that's something to be proud of. Um, and also, I'm not one of those people who just think that whatever I try is better than what you try. Maybe that thing helped you. Maybe that thing is the thing that got you to do what you needed to do. But I am here to say that, you know, we do carry a lot of sugars a lot of times. We eat sugar from the time we wake up till the time we go to sleep. And it's in our juices, in our cereals, in our um, meals, in our snacks it's everywhere and you may have not even noticed but if you started to look on the back of your uh, ingredients you'll see how much sugar plays a part so i'm just here for if you decide to make changes in your diet um to let you know that there are other options also just going back to the sea moss you might see different kinds you might see purple moss i actually like purple moss um I've used it several times. Um, I couldn't tell the difference. I couldn't see that there was anything different that I used. That was just something that I felt like um, was just another version. I don't have to worry about if my stomach's gonna churn or if I'm gonna be gassy or if I'm just not gonna be cute enough to snuggle up with my babe later. So um, just that too. Um, just coming up just with different things that help you and satisfy your body because believe it or not 
our bodies talk to us all the time and tell us what it doesn't like. We're just not listening. We're just like, oh, well, I really like this. I'll suffer the consequences later and we'll be good. But you don't know that it's causing just different things in your body. In my case, it was causing inflammation. Um, it was causing pain. It was to the point where um, being that I'm dealing with endometriosis, I'm having problems in my bowels, in my bladder. Times so I go to the bathroom, um, you know, just I could tell that I was going to have a flare up during sex. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, my husband's going to leave me. We can't be together if I can't have sex. But those different things that call that cause problems, I had to think about. I had to go really go deep down in myself and decide, was it going to be me or was it going to be the food that I eat that takes me out? And I, it's the, and I decided to choose me and take away the foods that I didn't like. And honestly, I can tell you that I feel great. I feel good. And I'm moving into actually different directions as far as um, my body because I was at a size where I was more wearing um, plus size clothing. And now I'm in this limbo where my body is like, I can't wear that, but I still can't wear the small stuff. What are you going to do? And then I'm deciding, I'm like, well, I can't go backwards. I got to go forward. So I got to do what I got to do. And so um, to my ladies, there's, I'm not hating. I feel like if you're a woman in general, you are beautiful for whatever you do, whatever you look like. I see the thick women out there and I'm like, damn girl, you looking good. You know what I mean? But so I'm not hating or anything. I'm just saying, do it for yourself. If you're taking high blood pressure and diabetic medication, you can do things that may help you to the point where you may not have to take so much in the dosage or you can try other things that allow you to maybe even get off that medication i'm here for wellness and i'm here to tell you about um other ways other treatments that you can use in a natural form to where you don't have to use what the doctor is telling you or use every single thing that you see on tv that's not working if it's not working for you take time to figure out what it is what is the one thing that you love the most for me i like cakes i like pie i no cake no pie um i will sneak some every now and again but no cake no pie so i just want to let you know that um, I'm not going to stay here for long. I'm not going to hold your head off, talk you off, talk off your ear. Um, but I do want to let you know that I am here. I hope that you can come to another a style of eating, a, another style of living, because this is not a diet. This is a way of life. Um, you want to make sure that whatever you choose is something that you put in your life daily and that you don't let whatever else is going on in life hold you from that so just uh just um some advice with you for that so um i thank you for joining me today i thank you for everything um please like and subscribe to my channel i'll be here again um to answer questions and answers that you may have um please follow me at miss l loves wellness on instagram and also here, you can follow me here at Miss L Loves Wellness on YouTube. So thank you guys and enjoy your day.